This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Modern Text Animation. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution and a frame rate of 30. You are free to use your own settings. The first step is to create a new solid layer and call it the background. I am using this dark gray color for it and then hit OK. Now go to the tools, and select the text tool. Please note, I am using this font, and my font size is 170 pixels. You can download this font from the link in the description. Eject from the typing box, and then align your text into the center. Now open your text layer, click on animate, and choose enable per character 3D. Now click on the animate once again, and this time choose all transform properties. Let's start animating. Go to around 1 second position, and then add a keyframe on the position, scale, and the X rotation. Make sure to unlink the scale values by clicking here. Now press U to reveal all keyframes, then go to the 2 second keyframe position, and change the X rotation value to negative 60 degrees. And Y scale position to 150%. Now change the Y position to around negative 20, and this is how it looks now. Not bad. Now select all keyframes, right click on them, go to the keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. Now open graph editor, in case your graph does not look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Now change the curves to something like this. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. If you want to make this animation more dynamic, you can add some background elements to it. You can easily download unlimited stock backgrounds from the Storyblocks. Thank you Storyblock for sponsoring this video. Storyblocks is an incredible library of high-quality stock videos, motion graphics, and other assets that can help elevate your video content. Whether you're a professional videographer, content creator, or just getting started, Storyblocks has something for everyone. With over a million stock videos, you'll never run out of creative inspiration. They have stock footage, such as particles, overlays, motion backgrounds, transitions, After Effects projects, Premiere Pro projects, and the list goes on. You get unlimited access to download from their entire library, with a subscription. And the best part is, it's all royalty-free, meaning you can use any of the content in your videos without worrying about licensing fees or copyright issues. Storyblocks also have its Creative Cloud plugin, where you can access the entire library, in After Effects and Premiere Pro without leaving your editing window. I have been using Storyblocks for the last 5 years and used their assets in many of my projects. Click the link in the description, and download millions of video assets for your next projects. Let's get back to the tutorial. Switch back to the main timeline, and let's make another text. Select this text layer, and make a duplicate of it. Let's replace the text with another word, and then eject from the typing box. Now use the Shift plus down arrow key to place this text in this position. Now select the second text layer, and press U to reveal all keyframes. Go to the end keyframe position, and change the Y position value to around negative 75. Let's place it right below the first word. And this is how it looks now. 
Now select this text layer once again, and make one more duplicate. I am going to place it right at the bottom, and replace this word with another one. Eject from the typing box, and press U to reveal all keyframes. Then use the Shift, plus down arrow key to place it right at this position. Now go to the end keyframe, and this time change the Y position value to a different one. I am keeping around negative 120 pixels. And this is how it looks now. Let's make it better. Make sure to unselect any selected layer, then go to the tools, and select the rectangle tool. Please note, my fill is set to a solid color, and my stroke is set to none. You can use any fill color for it. Now create a rectangle like this. Make sure to cover the top part of your second word. Now place this shape layer right above your second word. I am calling it mask. We are going to use the track mat option for it. So in case your track mat tab is not available here, then right click on it, go to the columns and choose modes, as well as the switches because we are going to use them. Now change the text track mat to the alpha inverted mat, and this is how it looks now. Select the mask layer, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fast box blur. Apply it onto the layer, and change the blur radius value to 30. It will feather out the edges of the mask, and the text will look like this. Now make one more duplicate of this mask layer, and place it above your third word. Change the text track mat to the alpha inverted mat. I am not able to see any changes, because we need to change the position of the mask, so select it. And use the shift plus down arrow key to change the position, and this is how it looks now. Let's minimize all layers, and then select all of your layers except the background, and then place them right into the center. Something like this. Check the animation, and this is looking much better. If you want, you can always change the color of the text. I'm going to select my third word, and change the color to a different one. Let's keep this gray, and it will add some dimensions to the text. Let's make the out animation. Select all of your layers, right click on them, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it text animation and then hit OK. Now go to the 3 second position, and use the ALT, or OPTION, plus the square bracket close key, to trim your layer. Now make a duplicate of it, right click on it, go to the time, and choose the time reverse layer. Now press the square bracket open key to place your layer starting position at the playhead position. Check the animation, and now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace. Again, thank you Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Check the first link in the description.